What's good, YouTube? It is your boy, Big Cool, coming to you from Colossal Sports TV, and I am back with another video. I was on Twitter today, earlier, earlier today, and one of the top boxing journalists I follow outside of 3kingsboxing.com, Lance Pigmire of the Los Angeles uh, Times, tweeted out that a PB official, a PBC official said that um, there's a good chance, and I'm paraphrasing the tweet, I'll put it in the video so you can see for yourself, but pretty much was saying that um, there's a good chance that Leo Santa Cruz will face WBC featherweight champion Gary Russell Jr. if he gets by Abner Mares this weekend, and this is music to, I'm pretty sure, Gary Russell Jr.'s um, ears, to my ears, and all other boxing fans' ears, because Gary Russell Jr. has called out then IBF featherweight champion Lee Selby. Uh, he called out uh, Oscar Valdez. He called out Leo Santa Cruz. He wanted all those guys. And none of those guys seemed very interested uh, at all of facing him. But now that Jojo Diaz, the young, um, the undefeated um, you know, contender, went in there and had some success, uh, although still outclassed in a uh, you know decisive victory for Gary Russell Jr. You know he he went in there. He made motherfuckers brave now, and Leo Santa Cruz is thinking, well, damn, maybe I can beat him. I know I can beat him. You know he lost to him in the amateurs. Um, he says he wants to avenge that loss, and this will be a a unification bout. Leo Santa Cruz is the WBA featherweight champion, and like I said, Gary Russell Jr. is the WBC uh, featherweight champion. Um, we all know that Gary Russell Jr. is by far the best fighter in this division. Um, and he's on um, record saying that he would love to fight more. Um, he was asked uh, by my man from Showtime after his fight against Jojo Diaz. And he said, yeah, I'd love to fight two, three more times. You know what I'm saying? Uh, or two, one or two more times. You know what I'm saying? Um, get more active. He wants the big fights. And I think that him and Leo Santa Cruz will be a very good fight. A very good fight, but you can't rule out my boy Abner Marius. I'm picking him um, to pull off the, the the mild minor upset over Leo Santa Cruz, um, you know, this Saturday night. But um, I I would love to see that fight. I would love to see Leo Santa Cruz and Gary Russell uh, lock horns. Leo Santa Cruz is a very good fighter. Uh, he can box. Uh, once he boxed behind that jab, it's very difficult. He's a pressure fighter, works the body. Um, he's not the biggest puncher, but he has respectable power. He's shown to have a, a, a respectable chin, uh, very good uh, endurance and stamina. None of those are issues. And it'll be a thing of just being able to keep up with the the extremely fast Gary Russell Jr., who has tremendous hand speed and very good technique. Um, he can box on the going, you know, on the back foot. He can press you. He can sit down in the pocket. Um. And, and fight you that way. You know, he's a very good counter puncher. I mean, he's an overall uh, very good fighter um, who's, you know, probably wasted a lot of his prime by not fighting yet due to injuries and other things. You know, him seemingly not being interested in fighting um, as much as he could and, and should. But uh, this is a, a very interesting uh, fight um, that needs to happen to uh, kind of take steps towards um, some clarity of the featherweight division because you still got Oscar Valdez out there who's the WBO featherweight champion, but he's currently recovering from a broken jaw. He suffered against Scott Quigg in their slugfest um, all-out war fight a few months ago. And you got newly crowned, um, you know, um, IBF featherweight champion Josh Warrington who, uh, you know, is looking at Carl Frampton maybe later on this year. You know, he has a, a lot of options, you know, he pulled off an upset against Lee Selby. Um, so it's a lot of uh, quality fights to be made, but I, I definitely am glad to hear Leo Santa Cruz mention the name of Gary Russell Jr. Seem to believe now that he can, he can beat him uh, and that he, he wants to fight it. Um, Al Heyman uh, have anything to do with it, which he will. We will get that fight next if everything goes according. Um, everybody is picking Santa Cruz. To win, you know, he won the first fight uh, clearly over Abner Mares, but I think Abner Mares um, uh, has rejuvenated himself somewhat, um, and I think that he's 
prime for upset. He feels that, you know, Leah Santa Cruz is overlooking him. So we'll see how that play out Saturday night. But if you like this video, go ahead and smash the like button. Smash that subscribe button. Hit that post notification bell to get notified every time I upload content so you won't miss anything. Drop those comments in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts on this potential matchup. Who do you favor, Leo Santa Cruz or Gary Russell Jr. and why? Shout out to everybody in the movement that's moving with us. Be sure to check out 3kingsboxing.com for your latest and greatest unfiltered and unbiased boxing news reported the way it should be. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.